Welcome back to Taiwan in Focus. Taiwan is notorious for its long working hours, which have been exploited by some employers to deny workers overtime pay. After several twists and turns in policy, the Labor Standards Act has been amended to prompt companies to increase employment or to give their workforce more rest time. Under the new rule, a worker should have two days off in every seven days. One of them is a flexible day off and the other is a fixed day off. Department of Labor Standards and Equal Employment Deputy Director Huang Weichen explains why the government opted for this amendment. Lee so the main points of this amendment are the implementation of one fixed day off and one flexible day off policy, which came into effect on December 23rd. Besides increase of days of annual leave and last but not least, the reduction of national holidays. Of them all, it's safe to say the one fixed day off and one flexible rest day policy may be the most controversial. The main difference between the fixed day off and the flexible rest day is employers should not ask workers to work on fixed days off unless in case of natural disaster or emergency. While employers may ask workers to work on rest days, the wage on these days has been significantly increased. In other words, if workers work on the flexible day off, they're entitled to higher overtime pay. If they work on fixed day off, they receive a matching day off at a later date. Besides, for workers work on a rest day, work for four hours or less than that should be counted as four hours. And work between four hours to eight hours should be counted as eight hours. And work for between eight to 12 hours should be counted as 12 hours. And the hourly wage for the first two hours is the regular rate plus at least one and one third, and that is 1.33 times of the regular hourly rate. And the hourly rate for the following two hours to eight hours should be considered regular hourly rate plus at least one and two thirds, or 1.67 times of the regular hourly rate. Labor Group's representative also expressed support for the new rule. 有一部分可能比较低薪的劳工因为如此他必须要靠加班费来健康他的所得的部分on the other hand, some businesses are feeling pinched, as Premier Ling Chen has pointed out that cost increases were inevitable for some labor-intensive industries. Some companies also spoke out against the inflexibility, saying that new policy has made scheduling work hours and arranging shifts even more difficult. In response, Director Huang said this new rule also serves a reminder to businesses of the importance of automation an industrial upgrade. 制造业当然它如果人力不够的话Despite the government's good intention, demonstrations staged by various workers' groups have made headlines. Workers allege that their employers are exploiting loopholes, and the case in point is the Taiwan Railways Administration. Employees have not received a single full day of rest since the passage of the amendment. According to the spokesperson for the Taiwan Railway Labor Union, that's because the railroad agency started calculating workers' rest time between shifts as their rest days. For example, if one leaves a night shift at 7 a.m., his or her 24-hour day off would start at 7 a.m. and end the next day at the same time. The employee would therefore have to be back at work the next day. 
In response, the government officials say the new labor rules set a cap on overtime work and stipulate that employees must receive one full day off that lasts from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. 担心它会不会过劳呢？因为整个时速又锁到呃延长工时的上限里面，一个月不能超过四十六，所有休息日的工时也都锁到这个四十六里面，一起来做管制。所以过劳这个部分我们也考虑到。in conclusion, uncertainty still looms with the work week policy barely half a month into its implementation. Only time will tell how the policy plays out. Some observers said the adjustments could elevate the quality of manufacturing and services in Taiwan, but flexibility should also be ensured. Workers also demand that what they call a much-needed action to close the loopholes for the new rule can be a win-win situation for businesses and laborers alike.